The Evolution EV CTL-10B is a 10-button programmable control keypad in a single-gang design that delivers the ability to simplify any application by controlling multiple components with one press of a button. Set up scenes or themes for a conference room, home theater, or a bedroom. Each button can be programmed to send up to six individual strings simultaneously. Installation is easy. Simply connect a CAT6 cable to a PoE-enabled Ethernet switch or hardwire an external power supply for power. The EVC TL10B controls devices over TCP IP and RS-232 protocols. In this video, we will dive deep into the user interface and explore all of the key features, including adding devices and commands, programming each button, creating macros, and more. Once the EVC TL10B has been installed and connected to an Ethernet switch, simply locate the IP address of the unit and punch that into any web browser. Once you do that, all you have to do is enter in the username and password. Now the default username and password is admin and admin. Hit login to access the user interface. And the first tab is called system settings. Within the system settings tab, we can adjust the username and password. We can also adjust other settings such as language, web login timeout. We can also download the current configuration, save to a computer, and upload to additional units in the future. We can also restore, reset, reboot, upload a custom web UI logo, and upload any available firmware updates. The network settings tab is where we can adjust the IP address of the EVC TL10B. Now the default setting is DHCP, however we can adjust this to static and then enter in the static IP address, Netmask Gateway, and then hit Save to save the IP address settings. To add devices to control with the EVC TL10B, click on Device Settings. Each keypad can add up to 10 devices and can be set up for IP and or RS-232. I've already added the Evo IP HDMI over IP system to be controlled. Now there's two different options here, one for IP, one for RS-232. Click Edit for IP and enter in the device's name, the IP address, the port, and a username and password. It is worth noting that the username and password is only needed if the device being controlled requires it for each command. For RS-232, same deal here, enter in the device's name, baud rate, parity bits, data bits, and stop bits, hit save to save that information, and now we can control this system two different ways. Now that we've added a device to control with the EVC TL10B, click on the Command Settings tab up top. You can add up to 10 commands for each device added. To do so, click on Edit, enter the name of the command itself or the action, the format of the command, and the command itself. Make sure you add a carriage return or line feed if the device requires it. The example in this video does not require it. Hit save, and once finished, to return to the command settings list to enter more commands. It's important to note that you must have the command codes for each device that you intend on controlling. Check with the manufacturers for those codes. Now that we've added commands for a device, we can now program each individual button on the EVC TL10B. To do that, click on the key settings tab up above. You'll notice a picture of the actual wall plate unit come up with the 10 individual buttons. To program, the buttons, all you have to do is click on the pencil icon located on the lower right hand corner of the button. That'll bring up another prompt. Here we can actually rename each and every button, and then we can add commands to that button. So, as you can see, I've already added the command for Evo IP to send input one to output one. You'll see the information on the right hand side. To add more commands, click on edit on the next line. And again, I only have Evo IP as the lone device here, so I'm going to click on that. And we can add a delay if necessary, the interface, whether it's IP or RS-232, and then the command. So the next command over is input two to output two. I'm gonna hit save, that'll save that information. And now we have two commands for one button press for this specific button for key one. I'm gonna hit save. And now if you hover over that key one, you'll see both commands in there. So now we can create macros. This is helpful to create scenes or themes for each individual room. For instance, for home theater, we can have a movie theme or a sports event theme and control multiple components with one press of a button. Test by clicking each button within the user interface or physically pressing that button on the unit itself. That wraps up this short overview on the user interface of the EVC TL10B. For more information, visit us at vanco1.com.